story so real it will never grow old. Though he went away, he'll return for his own. The story of Jesus is the sweetest ever told. Little precious, would you like for Daddy to tell you a real true story? You be real quiet and I'll tell you the sweetest story you ever heard. Do you know what little animals daddy likes best? Even better than little kittens or puppy dogs? Well, sir, I like little donkeys best because a little donkey gave up his place one night so that the little Lord Jesus would have a warm place in which to be born. And when the old king heard that Jesus had been born, he tried real hard to find him. You know why? He wanted to kill him. But Jesus' mother and father put him on a little donkey and took him away off to Egypt. That little donkey must have been very tired when he finally got there. Oh, but he didn't really mind because Jesus loved him so. Maybe it was that same little donkey that brought the little boy Jesus back home again. I guess he was about the most honored little donkey that ever lived. And maybe when Mary, Jesus' mother, wasn't looking, Maybe Jesus kissed him on his little nose. You know, Jesus loved another little donkey. One day he rode a donkey into Jerusalem, and that donkey had never been ridden before. But when he saw who was going to ride him, oh, he was so proud and so happy, and he walked real slow. And he walked on flowers all the way, flowers that people had put on the road for Jesus. And when angry people came to take Jesus and put him on a cross, that little old donkey must have shed real tears. But he could always say that he had touched Jesus and Jesus had loved him. Yeah, Jesus must really love that little donkey. But oh, he loves little boys and girls a lot more, far more. And you know when you can talk to Jesus every time you say your prayer. The story of Jesus is the sweetest